Welcome to the channel. This is Blaze Links, and I'm back again with another video. In the last video, we actually helped Rebecca deliver a baby, and we had to fight off so many zombies while doing it. It was crazy, and also, unfortunately, Sarah has passed away. There's no saving her out of that. She was covered with debris, and there's no getting that off of her. Rebecca has a baby now, and we are going to see how that goes throughout the rest of the series. I hope you guys stay tuned for future videos, and I hope you guys do leave a like on this video. We're going to get straight into this. I hope you guys do enjoy. Rebecca hey, with her baby. Hey, how's he doing? He's perfect. Who's a perfect little man? Who's the most perfect little man in the whole world? You are. That's right. You are. At least he doesn't look like Carver. This baby is Alvin's. He's beautiful. <coughs> I'm fine. I'm fine. I just wish I could get warm. Clem. Why don't you give her that coat we found? Sorry, you know, about the color. You really think I care about that? That's what I'm talking Do about. Do you want to hold him? Yes, please. Could I? Of course. Your family. Here. Oh, look at the baby. Go. You're natural. Look at you, like a big sister. <laughs> Here, let me take him. You both should rest. Especially you. When's the last time you slept, Kenny? Uh, about two years ago. I'm fine. Plus, somebody's gotta watch you while Mama gets your beauty sleep. You never forget that smell. What is Jane doing? Oh shit. What are you doing? Listen, I'm sorry. I've gotta go. Go? Go where? Just... away, okay? Where? You know, Jamie, Sarah. I'm not gonna stick around and... Watch it happen to you, too. You know the score. You're a smart, kid. But I thought you believed in me. I do. But give it enough time, and everyone's luck runs out. Oh, so she's a loner. I see. Listen, when the shit hits the fan, because it always does, remember that you can make it on your own. It's not an option for everyone. If things start heading south, don't let them drag you down with them. You don't owe them anything. They'll make you feel like you do. Like it's all one happy family. Oh, and push comes to shove. Yeah, I know. Good. Okay. You take care of yourself. I mean that. Here. Versatility is it? not overrated. I'll take it. Yeah. I, uh... I gotta go. I guess that's the last time I'm ever going to see Jane.
Hey, thought you'd be asleep by now. You okay? It's nothing, Luke. Don't worry about it. Okay, just checking in with you. The temperature's dropping. We're low on food. I think we gotta stay put for a while. You know, for Rebecca and the baby. So I'm thinking as soon as it gets light, Jane and I should go explore, see if we can find some place to scavenge. What? Jane left. For good. What? When? Just now. Are you serious? She didn't say anything about leaving to me? What the fuck? Damn it! Hey, keep it down. Sorry. I... Sorry. Just... Jane's gone. Really? Luke? Of all the childish bullshit. Childish? God damn it, Kenny. You know what? Just... Lay off! No, you put our lives, this baby's life at risk, so you two could roll around like fucking teenagers! Look, I made a mistake, all right? No, it's not all right! Kenny's just trying to protect the group. Well, coming down on me isn't helping. Look, I'm sorry, okay? I fucked up. But you know what, Jane? She made an offer, and Jesus Christ, I needed it, okay? I mean, look around you, okay? Everything is shit! So forgive me for wanting to enjoy one moment of something else! Fine, but this baby, he's what matters now, got it? So get your shit Kenny, together. Where's my baby? Is everything all right? Everything is fine. We're gonna need a good place to raise him, which ain't here. We gotta push on. We head north, get to Wellington. That's our best shot. There's a town across the river. It might be safe there. Or at least it might be a good stop on the way. Kenny! I'm sorry. Clem's got a point. That could be a whole town full of supplies, and not that far from here. Whole lot better than here, anyway. Looks like that's our best bet. We need to get on the road as soon as possible. We leave at first light. Whoa, whoa. What are you talking about? <laughs> Rebecca needs rest. A few days, at the least. We've got that baby formula. And it won't help the rest of us. And what about shelter? We'll freeze out here. Luke's right. She needs to rest. We should wait a few days. Maybe that's for the best. We don't want to push Rebecca too hard. Just give me a day or two, Kenny. I'll be fine. This is a mistake. But we should all try to get some sleep. It's been a long day. Yeah, I think Rebecca needs to rest. <laughs> I think that's the best <laughs> choice. What is she gonna die? Sorry. She might. I don't know. She might slow okay, us babe. down. It's gonna be all right. When we're trying to go, so <laughs> she needs to rest. And that baby does need a mom, so. Very nice. We're heading out. It is cold as hell. Where is the baby at? Ugh. Oh my goodness. You all right? She's exhausted. We all are. I can keep going. Is Rebecca dying? We should have left right away, instead of waiting around. We could have found more food and been someplace warm days ago. We did the right thing. She was in no condition to move. She's worse now. We could still turn back. That's not an option. Everybody hang in there. We got to keep moving if we're going to make it to that town before nightfall. You don't even listen to anyone else. You just go on barking orders. You gotta lighten up, okay? You're pushing them too hard. I'm just doing what has to be done, like always. Kenny's right. We have to keep going. Yeah, I guess. But we were still right to wait as long as we did. Remember, you agreed with me on that. Uh, uh, oh. Oh, here. No. It's a place to sit. Rebecca, 
Let me take the baby. <sighs> He's okay. I've got him. No. You rest for a minute. I'll wash him. Back off, Kenny. She said she doesn't want you to take the baby. Don't be weird about it, okay? I ain't being Shh. weird about it. Yeah, you kinda have been. Kenny knows what he's doing. He's been a dad before. That's not the part I was concerned about. Hello? What is this? Well, that's... that's Arvo. Arvo? Arvo? Jane and I met him on the observation deck. Before everyone else came. That's the guy? You know this son of a bitch? Well, what's he want? He doesn't look like much. That ain't the point. Hello? Please! I don't trust him. Also, he might be mad at us. Everybody keep your eyes open. Yeah, we can't trust this guy. We took his medicine. We can't trust him. Hello! You're Clementine. What's going on here, friend? You got people with you? Where are they? You're not out here on your own, are you? Uh -oh. These are my friends. We stay hidden for safety. But you, we know. You're Clementine. Это они? Да. Это они. Скажи им, чтобы они поставили их оружие на пол и что мы забираем все, что они имеют. Что ты хочешь, чтобы я взял? Откуда я знаю? What's so funny? Why did they laugh? I told them you are the ones who robbed me. They think it's funny that you're just a little girl. Robbed? And they want you and your friends to put down the guns, so we can take your things. Whoa, whoa, hang on now. What the hell? Maybe we can work something out. Arvo, что она говорит? Подожди, подожди. What do you mean? Look, whatever got taken from you, we'll give you twice that much from what we have. Was missed you. I'm sorry, Clementine, but we are not here to make deals. Buriko is saying that we will take everything. Whoa, these Slavic dudes really want the this beef. This be easy for you. Arvo, скажи, чтобы они опустили оружие. All of you, just put your guns down. This will be fine. Find my ass! Слушай, Арфа! Почему они не слушают? Я пытаюсь! We have a baby! You have a baby with you? У них родничковый ребенок! Если ты знаешь, что хорошо для тебя, просто верни оружие сейчас! И слишком много! Бурико, отойди! Drop that now or I'm gonna fucking shoot it! I'll do it! Drop it! Drop it! Don't fucking... Don't move! No!
do something, y'all. Get down here. Can't just sit here and let this guy take pot shots at us until he runs out of ammo. So quit talking about it and do it. Yeah. Yeah, all right. This don't have to get any worse than it already is. You can just go. English, motherfucker! I kill every one of you! If I can just get over to that side of the wall, I can maybe get an angle on this guy. Cover me, all right? Just shoot over towards the woods. I don't know if that'll work. It'll be fine. Just, just trust me. I just need the distraction, okay? I'm not gonna... Damn, that death was so dramatic. Wow. Safe to come out. Here, I got him. Jesus Christ. That was, uh... That was intense. I thought... Man, I thought that was it. Yeah, it was for these assholes. I'm still mad at you for leaving. Yeah, I figured. I didn't know this man. I never killed someone that didn't wrong me in some way. That didn't deserve it. Tried to pretend he was a walker. But it's different. He deserved it. He was trying to kill us. Yeah, that's why I did it, but it felt wrong. Come on. <sighs> okay. So Jane is with us now. Nice. And we lost Rebecca. How did this happen? She turned. Just like that. Clem spotted it first. Did what she had to to protect the child. This isn't your fault, okay? She just... She just lost too much blood. But it ain't nobody's fault. You saved the boy's life. You know, we could have done better by her. She was just too far gone. She's with Alvin now. Yeah. Yeah, she is. Don't worry, Becca. We'll take care of your boy. You rest easy. <sighs> you piece of shit! Ugh. Hey, hey! Stop! Guys, get off guys, me! Come on! It's over, man. 
He ain't a threat to us. How can you say that? Of course he is. Get out of the way. Whoa, what are you doing? I'm doing the same thing this asshole tried to do to us. Move out of the way, Mike. You... Clem, you, you don't mean that. There is house, food. Please. Please, I can take you. Bullshit! No, no. It's true. We have place. Not far. Food. See? He wants to help. Oh, don't be stupid. He's just trying to save his skin. Why the hell would you help us, huh? I... I now want to see more people dead. Then close your eyes and I'll make it quick. Kenny, back off. He's lying. We can't trust him. It's worth the risk to check this place out. Trust him, don't trust him. It doesn't matter. We should go anyway. We just need to be careful. It can't be far from here. You stay out of this! You're the reason these fuckers came after us in the first place! Don't try and pin this on me. Lay off, Kenny. She just helped us. Look, don't start, all right? I'm sure you're real excited to have your girlfriend back. I was there with her. It's my fault, too. Think about the baby, Kenny. If there are supplies, we need them. We ain't gonna last much longer without more food. We gotta take a chance. Unless someone's got a better plan. We got something to tie this shitbird up. Yeah, I got something. I don't trust this guy. Follow me, I thank you. Just give me a reason. Yeah, man, he gets it. I really don't trust him, guys. But we will see what happens. Look, I know you're probably pissed about me leaving. When I heard the gunshots, I... I knew it was a mistake. If it helps, the thing I'd normally do is walk away for good. But I didn't. Despite what my instincts are telling me. Despite everything I've seen. We needed you, but you left. How do I know it won't happen again? Believe it or not, I want to try and make this work. All I can do is... Promise you I won't abandon you again. Which, to be fair, I've never done before. Even though I probably should have. A few times now. You don't gotta point the gun at him the whole time. You forget what we just went through? He ain't going anywhere, Kenny. No need to get your arm all sore. I'm worried about Kenny. He's... He's in a dark place. We gotta keep an eye on him. Everything he's been through. But he's lost. He'll be okay. I've known him a while. Well, it's all starting to pile up. It's weighing on him. Everyone has a breaking point. You're the only one that he trusts. That he really trusts. That means you're the one that's gonna have to pull him back. He's counting on you. If we're really going to make this work... He's tougher than you think. He can handle it. I don't think that he can. You'll see. Jane's probably I right. I hope you're right. Come on, slow pokes. Jane is possibly right. We will see. I hope I'm right. I hope that I'm right, guys, because I don't want to see Kenny go through a level three of a mental breakdown. And this time it's not gonna be pretty. Wait up! Wait! We need to stop. No! No, I'm I'm fine. Hey, I just need a second. Sorry, I just I just put more weight on it than I should have. Alright, wait there. Hey! What I say! When I tell you something, you fucking listen, you understand? Can it come on! There's no need for that! He's getting what he deserves. I'm fucking talking to you. I say stop. You'd best stop. He deserves it. He deserves to be treated like a human being. That's all I'm saying. After what he did, what happened back there was his fault. He lost all his people in one fell swoop. Ain't much we could do to him that'd be worse than that. Kenny, please, ease up on him. Just fucking stay put. I'm gonna have a word with Kenny. He doesn't have to treat him that way. Kid's been through enough. You all right here? 
Yeah, yeah. Go on and talk to him. I got clam if I need anything. Okay. Here, just take the baby. Okay. What is it with you guys? What do you mean? Every man I've known is always trying to let each other know how tough they are. Put them in their place. Bunch of dominant alpha male horse shit. And it all ends the same way. But don't look at me. I ain't that guy. Oh, that ain't true. You get in your fair share of pissing matches too. I've noticed that too. I don't know why it has to be that way. It just is. Get two of them in a room, and it's just a matter of time before they're challenging each other to something. Yeah. <laughs> Suppose I've been in enough spitting contests to agree with you. Guess it took a woman to talk some sense into him. Looks like Jane broke it up. Keep pressure on it, okay? I'm gonna go fetch some bandages. Do we still have the medicine? Hey, Bonnie. Yeah? I'm sorry. For what? I'll be right back. <sighs> Damn it. Don't worry. You're gonna be okay. We get here. What do you mean? Sitting in the snow, leaning up against a tree, bullet in my leg. But alive. <laughs> when so many of my friends are dead for no good reason, and I couldn't do anything to stop it. Everyone we set out with just gone. Nick, Pete, Alvin, and Becca, Carlos, Sarah, and for what? You can't blame yourself. We all made mistakes. Yeah, some of us more than others. I could have done more, and that ain't up for debate. I know it in my bones, and I gotta live with it. All right, this should work. That's perfect. What'd I miss? Hmm? Uh, nothing much. Luke's feeling bad about what happened. A what? Really? But it's not your fault. Bad things happen and we can't control it all the time. She's right. You don't go blaming yourself for this. All right. Can we drop it? I'm fine. Thanks a lot. Hey, Clem. Go over and see if you can change the bandages on Kenny's wound. I offered, but I don't think he was comfortable with me doing it. But you know him better than I do. Maybe he'll let you do it. Okay. That a girl. That's gonna sting, but only for a second. It's gonna clean it. Oh, I know what it does. It's gonna suck. It's gotta get done. Okay, it looks like we do have the medicine, and I'm going to fix Hello. Kenny's eye. This is gonna be gross, guys. I just know it. I was thinking we'd go with Alvin Jr. What do you think? Rebecca mentioned she'd like to name him Alvin if it was a boy. I mean, Rebecca was so out of it she hadn't settled on her name. Huh, yeah. I like it. Alvin Jr. it is. Do you like that? Well, I think AJ approves. What do you, uh, got there? Because I think I'm all right. I mentioned it earlier. Can I change your bandages? You shouldn't have to do stuff like this. Shouldn't have to do a lot of things. All right. Let's get it over with. Hopefully it don't scare this little guy. Or you. Oh my goodness, I'm about to look at his eye! So how 
does it look? It looks... I still gonna be pretty when this heals? You look like garbage. I'm, I'm so sorry, Kenny. That bad, huh? You ain't got nothing to apologize for, Clementine. This wasn't your doing. Okay, this is going to sting like crazy, guys. I hope he's ready for this. So, I'm guessing this is going to be the shitty part. It might sting a little. You think? All right, let's put it on his eye. You need to stop squirming. Yeah. Yeah, okay. You're right. All right. That... This looks painful. Uh, sorry about the language, Junior. You're gonna be tougher than me when you're grown. I'm gonna expect you to be more of a gentleman than I am. But man, is that smart. He'll be tough. Just like his dad. Oh, Alvin didn't look it. But yeah, that guy had a pair on him. I should have gave myself up. Alvin didn't have to die like that. I'm gonna think about that every time I look at Alvin Jr. here. Guys, Alvin I'm sorry, but he wasn't tough. Here, raising this boy. The best thing you can do for Alvin and Rebecca is raise him right. Make sure he's safe. I intend to. Oh, so his eye looks a lot better. All done. Thank you, sweetie. Yep. Are we ready to go? His eye looks a lot much more cleaner and better and... Let's head out. Yeah, it's just better. Well, guys, that's going to be it for episode five, part one. If you guys enjoyed it, please leave a like, subscribe for more future videos. Thank you so much for watching. See you guys.